So before we get into this video, I just need you to understand I filmed this yesterday when he was speaking. So if I use terms as in today, it means yesterday and whatnot. I just got a little busy yesterday and I didn't have a chance to edit it. Also, I will probably be making a video on the China situation with uh, Taiwan. But nonetheless, let's get into it. Biden came out and spoke today about the Ukraine, Russia situation. Russia is attacking Ukraine, of course, trying to get the, you know, Russia back to what he believes Russia is supposed to be. Anyways, so Biden came out today and issued some sanctions about uh, what they're going to do to Russia. Sanctions are basically like restrictions and whatnot. So let's just talk about it real quick and let's kind of hit a base summary of what he said. So he's going to limit the dollar, the euros and the yen. So Russia cannot use those and they're going to be restricted from those. We'll talk about what I think about that at the end. Let's just go over the summary and then we could go over everything else. Their main goal is trying to stop the economy growth and their tech advances and obviously the military, of course. So the sanctions, um, who knows if they're going to work. Putin and all them already came out and said that they've planned for the worst sanctions. And I don't think this was the worst sanctions. I guess we got to play it by ear. They're also also cutting off the banks. Any banks with American assets are all cut off. They're also targeting the elites in Russia, the ones that are like, you know, in bed with Putin, you know, like on the same table, their family and all that. They're cutting everything off. He also said we won't go to Ukraine to fight because they're not NATO, but we will step in if they get to any country that's in the NATO. And I know some of you guys are out there probably like, who's in NATO? United States, United Kingdom, Belgium, Canada, Denmark, France, Iceland, Italy, Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, and so on. There's quite a bit of people in there. And then he also said that he's trying to work out a deal probably with Saudi Arabians to lower gas prices. I don't see that happening necessarily. I think gas is going to go up, obviously, because of what's going on now. Honestly, they were kind of pretty shitty sanctions, in my opinion. He also kind of made a bold, broad statement. If Russia does cyber attacks to America, we're going to strike back. He didn't tell us how, so it's just kind of just, you know, just a broad statement. Then he went into questions and Biden basically said he has no plans of talking to Putin. That relationship is done. Whatever, fine. I kind of expected that. He's not going to sanction the SWIFT bank because the sanctions that he's putting on the banks over there equals out to the same as putting sanctions on a swift bank what he said and if he puts sanctions on the swift bank that would lead to a massive war so quick because putin already said if these sanctions act against us in a bad way that we don't like we're coming against you in a way that you've never seen so we'll see how that goes they asked if uh he believed russia would go beyond ukraine he simply said yes he also said it's highly unlikely to last a long time but then he also said that he's gonna come back in a month to check out his sanctions and see how they're working so it's like ah, uh, you're contradicting yourself and then people started asking it's like why would you not put sanctions on Putin today. And he really didn't have an answer for that. He kind of eased around a question. Whatever, fine. I don't necessarily get it, but I think Putin should have sanctions on him right now. We're out of way everything. And then somebody asked him about the China and Russia relationship and he wasn't prepared to answer the question. He just, that's all he said. I don't know how this is going to go. I think Putin's going to be kind of upset with this, but also like we got to remember Putin was stacking gold a while ago and people on YouTube were like, yeah, Putin's stacking gold. Look, he knows what he's doing because inflation, or maybe he was doing that because he was going to war and he knew that people were going to sanction him and they weren't going to have money and they were planning for this. I don't know. I don't know where this goes, but that was just a quick update. I will keep you guys updated. You guys let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment. If you like this type of content, I would appreciate it if you dropped a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you got do to stay in the loop. I drop a video about every other day helping you mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, and emotionally. But with that being said, guys, my name is Derek. We'll flip and drip, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.